What is up, Flockers? That is my fellow Lockers and aspiring Lockers. No, I am not in my normal setup with the studio, with the lights, with the camera and all of that. Today, you are getting raw. You see the, the palm trees in the background. I am on a beach trip, and that is what I am giving today. And if you want to learn how to help your locks to grow faster while using nature, then stick around. Now, although there may not be some magical pill that you can take or magic drink that you can drink and grow your hair super long overnight, there are some things that you can do to help your hair lock a little bit faster. And one of the things that I love about being on beach trips is that when you're near the beach, you have unlimited access to salt water. And salt water is one of the best ways that you can help your locks to lock faster. Now, I don't know all of the ins and outs as to why exactly it works and why exactly it helps. But what I do know is that the times that I have put this set of locks in the water, every time I have come out, I feel like it has helped to boost the process. I'm not going to say that my locks locked overnight or anything like that, but it did help to speed up the process. It helped my locks to loosen up a little bit and then condense a little bit more. I think what it does is it helps to open up cuticles and get the, the hair follicles, not follicles, the hair cuticles lifted and roughened up so that they can attach to each other and lock and do what your hair naturally needs to do. Now, I do want to put a disclaimer on that. If your loctician has advised you to braid and band, or if you are in the beginning stages of your lock journey, whether that's sister locks or micro locks or what have you, and you have issues with unraveling, make sure that you do what you need to do and don't just run into the ocean with your hair all free and whatnot, because that is not what I'm telling you to do. But if you're like me, I have, I have braid locks and since day one, I have not had any issue with unraveling. I've not had any issues with any bunching or anything like that. And so I have always felt completely free and safe to go in the ocean, go in pools, wash my hair without braiding and banding or anything like that and never had any issues or any negative effects on my locks or my lock journey because of doing so. As always, listen to your hair, listen to your loctician and do what's right for you. But one of the great things about me and my braid locks and doing it the way that I've chosen to do is that I do have that honest and truthful hair freedom there's a lot of people that when they start their lock journeys, they talk about hair freedom, but it's not full hair freedom if you're having to braid and band and things like that. Now, if you're able to braid and band in five minutes, then okay, cool. But if it's taking you 10, 15, 20 minutes to braid and band before you can get into the pool or whatnot, it's not full hair freedom. And once your hair is fully locked and you can experience that, then you get to that place of full hair freedom. I am not fully locked by any means necessary but I feel like I have that full hair freedom in the sense that I do not have to be concerned or worry about my locks unraveling. So like I said, I go to the beach once, maybe twice a day, and I literally will just dip my head in the water, whether I'm jumping out and swimming or I will just dip my hair and let it soak in the salt water. And then I will get out, sit up under an umbrella because I'm not trying to be up in that hot sun directly all day long. And I'll do that two, three, four times while I'm on the beach for a couple of hours. Just dip my hair and let it get nice and wet and then let it air dry. And then I'll go back in, dip it again, sit out for about 30 minutes, let it air dry going again. And literally that process helps your hair to lock a little bit faster. And like I said, to get those things moving and going in your lock process to speed it up just a little bit. Again, you're not gonna see any amazing results overnight. You're not gonna have braids that you just freshly put in today and then you're gonna wake up tomorrow and have fully locked locks. That's not what I'm saying. What I am saying is that it will help to mature the process along. And if you're already on the beach and you have access to salt water and you're not having, I mean, you can DIY your salt water if you want, but if you have access to a beach and you can just dip in there, go on and do that. It's wonderful, it's free. You're not having to figure out proportions of how much water to how much salt. It's literally all there for you and done. It's the biggest DIY pool, <laughs> thanks to God, done for you. Now, something I do want to mention is that I think it is important while you are doing this to keep your hair moisturized, regardless of whether you have treated, color treated hair, bleached hair, or if your hair is just the natural color, it's still important to make sure that you are moisturizing your hair. Um, salt water, I find, at least for my hair, 
isn't extremely drying to the point where my hair feels brittle, but that salt does dry my locks out some. And so it's important for me to make sure I'm putting that moisture back into my hair. So what I will do when I come home from the beach each day is that while I'm taking a shower and rinsing off all of the sand and washing all of that salt water off of my body, I also make sure to rinse my hair. I'm not gonna wash my hair daily with shampoo or conditioner or anything like that, but I am making a point to rinse my hair thoroughly with water so that I can get as much of that sea salt out of my hair as possible each day. And then afterwards, I go in with my DIY oil to make sure that I can seal in some of that moisture. And like I said, today is day three or four and my hair feels good. It feels moisturized. It does not feel brittle. My hair feels healthy and I don't know you can see my hair i feel like looks healthy it smells good i swear that being in the sun has lightened my hair even more um, outside of the the chemical process that i did but on top of that my ends have lightened even more than i did myself which i'm here for uh, get that natural lightening going on but yeah this is what we're looking like this is our texture. Give you all the close-ups. Okay. So like I said, you wanna rinse the salt water out of your hair and you wanna go ahead and put some type of oil that you feel comfortable with. Doesn't have to be a super heavy oil, but you do wanna make sure that it's an oil that can lock in some of that moisture make sure that you are putting some of that moisture back in that you are taking out from all of the rinsing and the water and the salt that you are putting into your hair go ahead and drop down into the comments and let me know have you ever used salt water in your hair to speed up the lock process and what has your experience been like was the salt water super drying for your hair are you also not experiencing dry hair because of salt water do you find it to help speed up the locking process for you do you use the ocean salt water or do you make your own DIY salt water? I'd like to hear from y'all. So make sure you sound off in the comments. Thank you so much for tuning into this video. If you found it helpful, make sure to hit that like, hit that smash button, smash that like button so that I know what type of content you are enjoying. And also make sure to hit the subscribe button so that you join the flock. And while you're here, please be sure to check out some of the other videos that have popped up on the screen. I'll see you there.